subject. I'd like to relate back to the very powerful statement of the Chinese representative, and um, it would be, as anybody who knows me knows, very unusual for me to agree with uh, the Chinese government on anything. However, the way I understood his comment is as a call for honest dialogue about the role of governments in ICANN, about enhanced cooperation, and about the Tunis summit. Uh, what we got from the panel uh, this morning was that three, uh, or maybe even four of the panelists, defined enhanced cooperation as anything good that happened after WISIS. And they know, they must know, and we know, and certainly the Chinese and Brazilian delegates know, that that is not what was at issue in the Tunis agenda, that was not what was being debated, and that is not what brought the IGF into existence. Now, to move forward on a positive basis, let me say that we organized a workshop on the future of ICANN and, the, and its joint projects agreement with the U.S. government. In other words, we... Milton, can I just interrupt you for one second? I'm not going to stop you talking, but can I ask you first, do you have... A, what do you think enhanced cooperation actually means? Enhanced cooperation meant governments and civil society negotiating the, the role of governments in public policy for the Internet. Global public policy. The word global public policy principles appears twice in paragraph 70. There's no doubt about what it means. So, now, we may have severe disagreements about the role of governments. Most of you probably know by now that I'm not a big fan of governmental control. But at least let's have an honest dialogue about it. So, this is what we tried to do in our workshop. And is this an appropriate time to report on that? Okay. So we recognize that we are reaching a critical juncture in September 2009. Uh, that is when the U.S. Joint Projects Agreement um, expires. The Joint Project Agreement, or JPA, is a policy oversight vehicle through which the U.S. government supervises ICANN. Our workshop took up the question whether we should allow it to expire as part of the transition to a more internationalized ICANN. Now, we heard different views. We had uh, two government representatives. Uh, we tried to have a third, but unfortunately, the Russian representative could not attend. And we had private sector representatives and academic civil society representatives. The interesting thing is that I cannot say that there was a consensus on any particular view, but we can say that there was a predominant view coming out of this workshop. And that predominant view was that the U.S. government should step out of the JPA and let it expire, and that uh, it should do this immediate, as soon as possible, that is in September 2009, and that the government, the, the whole point of ICANN is to be independent of territorial sovereigns so that it can engage in global cooperation and coordination, not to uh, have governments sitting over it in some kind of controlling fashion. So I think it's interesting that when we had a, a, an unconstrained dialogue, uh, we did not reach full agreement. We had some differences, but we did, I think, come to uh, a very interesting conclusion that the U.S. government should indeed step away from ICANN and allow it to operate as a multi-stakeholder entity, of course, with some new accountability mechanisms. Thank you. Thank you.